I've returned my Ray-Ban MetaSmart glasses twice, and this is what I got instead. Hey, what's going on? Hope you're doing alright. My name is Matt, and this is Dwar Creative. Today we're talking about why I've returned my two previous Ray-Ban MetaSmart glasses and what I got instead. Now, if you've been following this channel, I did do a video on why the first, but not the second. But just a little recap on the first one. It was the Ray-Ban Meta Wayfair glasses with the gray transition lenses. Now, a little caveat on the lenses, right? If you are someone who likes to drive and are expecting a full sunglass with those transitions, they're not gonna do it. The way your vehicle is set up, it doesn't allow it to fully transition. So you'll probably need, still need a full set of sunglasses for driving. The reason I got the transition was I was hoping to be able to use it both indoor and outdoor. And that's just something that I learned from wearing it during that time period. Now, I really did enjoy using these, creating videos or taking photos, and then especially using it for its music feature. I use that all the time. Now, for the AI at the time, wasn't a huge thing for me, and I didn't use it often because it often left me referring to my phone, which is kind of defeating the purpose of it, right? Now, I ended up returning those because ultimately they did not fit my face. They were a high bridge frame model, and I have an Asian face, which has the low bridge right here so it kept sliding down on my face and for me i don't want to have to constantly push up my glasses and i ended up returning them i did end up turning around and purchasing their newer headliner low bridge frame model and i ordered this in the configuration at that time was shiny black the only option and then i had to do a plano script to get transitions and they were supposed to be great transitions what I received was the correct frame with green transition lenses. Now overall, it wasn't a huge deal, but in terms of aesthetics and the amount you're paying for it, because now you're paying that prescription price because they didn't offer a standard configuration, it was something that just bothered me. Looking outward, I didn't notice too much of a difference, but if you're looking at me, you could definitely see that like green kind of shimmy to it. Ultimately would be part of the reason I returned it, but the biggest reason I ended up returning those before those 30 days was up was because of the price difference. Now, just going back to the first one, all right? I ordered those through the Ray-Ban website. They shipped out, took like a week, maybe a week and a half, pretty fast, right? Now, the second ones I ordered through LensCrafter, and the return process is super simple same thing as like the ray-ban ones they send you out a label you throw everything back in package and ship it out but my biggest my issue was that i had to pay the premium price right so i had to pay for a script that wasn't a script to get the transitions now they're currently offering those headliner low bridge frames with two different frames and multiple lenses which included the transition lenses now, as I said, you know, I did get the dream transitions, which wasn't a big, huge deal, but if I'm paying that much, I should really get what I want, right? So that's why I returned those. Now, what did I get instead? They're still gonna be Raven and Meta Smart Glasses. They're still gonna be those low bridge frames. These are what I ended up getting. Now, these are still the headliners and they are with the gray transition lenses, which are the ones that I wanted. And these are the shiny warm stone frames. So they're a little bit different. They're honestly not something that I usually would do for frames. I typically do black as you see. I'm trying to step out of my bounds and just try new things. So that's what I'm going for here. And my first impressions are that I really like these and I can't wait to use them because I've been without these glasses for a little bit and I like using them for like my behind the scenes content. Since I did get these, there were a few updates, so I'm just going to leave them read these right here, right? I guess beta users trying something out, skip it, scene, look, and when you make a request. So that goes into the AI features, which I haven't been using a whole lot because I have had issues with that. Next thing is going to be respond without hey meta. So that's when you go like, um, you say that and then you ask it to do something and then it will keep listening and you don't have to say that again to get it to do the next thing that you want it to do. Stay on track with the games in Paris. Well, I think those are over now, so it doesn't really help. And then improve Apple Music search. I don't use Apple Music, so that doesn't really help me either. Now, I'm sure there's other little tweaks in it, but that's pretty much what that update is. Now, in terms of the previous update a little bit, up to the three minute mark, I do want to say that that has been kind of really helpful 
And as I mentioned in previous videos, it allows you to get it started, go do what you need to do, and then not have to worry about, hey, did I get this? And that's one of those things where for me, if I'm doing a tutorial or doing like an install on my vehicle and I'm trying to record that, right? I do kind of wish that it was a little bit longer or you could pick it, like set it to its max. Like I know it's going to burn the bird battery up and maybe when it hits a certain temp, it'll automatically shut off. Let me have control of that. I mean, you know, I understand there are risks and stuff like that, but we have that for our cameras and like, I'll say for like my Canon R6, that thing overheats. I used that in the dead of summer in Louisiana with heat, humidity, and our indexes were clear over a hundred, but I made it work for my purposes and it was the same thing for these, you know, let us have a little bit more control over what we wanted to do. I think the three minutes are a nice spot to be at currently, but yeah, you know, if it could be a little longer, I would appreciate that, you know, and then also for me, can we have that bigger, wider format? Because I know these are made to be posting straight up onto social media, but even still with that, you know, like if I'm taking my content and posting it onto TikTok, that's 16 by nine, right? That's not the same format. We should have that option, you know, hey, I wanna shoot in 16 by nine or four by three or three by four, or uh, I wanna shoot in, you know, 1080 by 1920 or 1920 by 1080 or give us a little bit more of those options. and. Maybe they're saving that for the next gen glasses, a future update or something, but that's just something I'd like to see. So that's gonna be it for this one. If any of you have any questions about the smart glasses, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.